What's up to you too? Lucky 1313 here, Lady of T1G Nation, checking in on a video here. Going to talk about critical rate versus critical damage on top of the Rage Fatal versus Violent. When is it useful? What's more ideal? Alright, let's jump right into it right here. We're talking about critical rate. Slot 4 CD. Every nuker's dream. This is what your max, this is what you want to build for to do the most damage that you could possibly do. Uh, in order to make this build, this setup, this slot 4 CD right here, or even using a rage set, it's very imperative that you have at least 70 CR, right? If you don't have 70 CR, you're going to come in time, it's going to, you're not going to crit as often as you want, right? It's going to be that crucial moment in battle when you have a defense break on, you got your monster lined up for a one shot, and boom, you miss. All because you didn't have 70 CR, you had 50 or 60 or 40. It basically makes that slot port obsolete. That's not what you're looking for. Ideally, you want 70 CR. 70 CR allows you to crit more often than not. Technically, theoretically, or mathematically, you'll crit 70% of the time. We know RNG, you're only going to crit maybe 10% of the time. We know how it goes, but mathematically, 70% of the time, you're going to crit. Right? Meaning, though, meaning more often than not, in that crucial moment in battle, you're going to hit that maximum damage output from that skill. Right? You achieve 70 CR, obviously, by a, a blade set brings 12, but if you can achieve 70 without a blade set, more power to you. It means you can run energy, you can run revenge, you can run will, you can run guard. Um, it's all about the subs. You look for these subs right here. So 9 CR, um, no CR there. I have 5 CR here, 18 CR there, 6 CR, and another 12. That brings my Alicia to 92 CR. It means 92% of the time she's going to do her max damage. Also means she's going to have a higher chance to crit against the opposite elements, such as what does Perna do? Hidden crit mass, just like Theo. He basically is the king of all elements. Perna will crit on water. Um, but anyways, <laughs> back on track. CR versus CD. If you cannot get to 70 CR by subs, I highly recommend running slot force critical rate. Doesn't have to take it to 15. As long as you have above 70, the more you have, the better. Later down the line, you can upgrade to that slot force CD by changing some other runes here that gives you more CR. Um, it's, it's, it's golden. That's the golden rule. And to run slot force CD, you must have at least 70 CR. Keep that in mind, rule of thumb. Uh, right here, I'll give you an example. I've ruined my Wusa for Swift Fast Nuker. 180 CD, nearly 40,000 hit points. His, ma his damage is skilled off max HP, but he's got very low CR. So if I was to run him without a CR leader, 47% of the time he's only going to crit. Not going to do a whole lot of damage. It's going to basically make that slot. This build absolutely pointless. I can run another HP rune right here to give him 44, 45,000 HP. That would be more ideal if I'm not critting. But the only time I use Rusa is when I run him with Theo. So he has an additional 24% CR lead. So that's going to make him run at about a 71 CR doing my 180% damage. 71% of the time. So that's the reason why I have the CR so low and the CD so high because I'm going to have 70 CR when I'm using them in battle. Keep that in mind. Golden rule. In order to use slot 4 CD, make sure you have at least 70 CR. Now there's several mods that buff in game. Um, I believe the Fire Elven Ranger buff CR. Um, I think Chilling buff CR. And another one that buffs critical rate is Akilia. Skill 2, I believe. Yep. And this critical rate buff is 33%. It's either 30 or 33, I can't remember. You can find this information actually right here in the help menu. If you go down to. Where is the buffing? Beneficial and harmful effects. You can find all this information on what each one does. Um, there it is. The target critical rate is increased by 30%. There you go. Crit rate is increased by 30%. So if I bring Akiya and Wusa together, he will have a 77% CR when he goes uses the attack when buff. So, again, keep it in mind, 70 CR is ideal. If you don't, again, if you don't, cannot get to 70 CR through subs, I highly recommend going slot 4 CR. That way you could get the max damage throughout the battle and I know 
plenty of times, more often than not, I have lost the battle because one of my monsters is mi miscrit, even at 70 CR. You're running still a very high risk of missing that crucial hit, but ideally tested, seen on Reddit, and of course to come to us for a high um, forum, 70 CR is ideal. All right? So let's talk about the Rage Fatal. Rage Fatal Violent Debate. All right? Rage Fatal is more so for a monster that you need to absolutely make their hit every turn max damage as possible, like Alicia. I want her to hit super hard every time she goes. I'm not really worried about her violent proccing or getting as many turns as possible. I'm worried about every time she goes, I'm making it count. So I max out the most damage she can because she has absolutely amazing multipliers. I would really not benefit using Violent on her. I mean, of course, if I can match these stats in Violent, that would be great. It's nearly impossible. But ideally, I want her to do as most damage as possible every single turn. Some monsters just benefit from Violent better than others, such as Theo. He's got an elemental advantage over every single monster in the game, so you want him to hit as often and as many times as you can, also to lessen the cooldowns as passive. That's why Violent is ideal. Another monster that Violent is absolute must for is Perna. He heals on his passive, so as many times he goes is the amount of times he heals. Not only that, but he does incredible damage. Also has extremely low cooldown on this damage that inflicts more according to the HP that the monster has. So there are other monsters such as Rogue that Violent that you know benefit better with Violent, such as the chainsawing and constant you know turn procking. Um, it's, it's all about what you need, why you need it, and how you need it. You gear your own monsters to your own likings. Not to somebody else's likings, to your own likings. Whatever you need, you use. For instance, Cat does amazing damage on third skill when, when teamed up with Chloe. She's not going to do a whole lot of damage. You're not going to be able to max out in your crit rate and your crit damage and your, and your attack on violence. If you run a raid, you're going to have a higher CD output, and that skill is going to hit the most damage at that time. You don't need her taking a whole lot of turns. You just need, every time she goes, you need to make her turns count. Um, Lucian. Lucian benefits off Fatal Rage versus, Fatal Rage Swift versus Violent. I don't need him going a whole bunch of times. I just need to go, I just need him to go one time and to do the most damage I possibly can and let the rest of my monsters clean up. If not, he already killed everybody. Um... Like this guy right here, he can be room, room for new, but it'd be pointless to run him Rage or Fatal, or whatever the case may be, because you need him to take as many turns as possible, because he can absolutely dominate the battlefield on Violent. Also, a Violent is very ideal for defense set monsters. We all know it's a hidden code or hidden something in the game that allows defense to use and use Violent a lot more often than on offense. So keep that in mind. A lot of defense builds are Violent. A lot of offense builds, a lot of people are shying away from that violent, again, to Rage, Fatal, or Swift to do a lot more damage than they need beginning of the battle versus sustaining more consistent damage throughout the battle. Um, let's see, anything else? Uh, between Rage, Fatal, and Swift, it's all about your subs. A lot of people are switching Swift a lot of their nukers to Swift to kind of keep pace with the battle. Instead of having your monster go very last, you can try to push him up in the order or time kind of sink your account a little bit with your support monsters with your attack bar buffers um, when you're getting closer to end game it's really it's really important to start thinking about speeding up your nukers with swift or with a slot 2 speed that has you know an attack or a CR or CD sub definitely keep you in the the, um, the, the battle a little bit faster a lot of the new meta switching solutions to swift or if you can up his speed a little bit sacrificing a little bit of crit damage he's still gonna hit pretty hard buff this guy right here at 164 damage he hits for 10k buffed on a card 30,000 damage enough to control a battle or possibly sway it in your favor um, check us out on channel 1313. I hope this video helps. If you need any more questions, got any comments, questions, or concerns, please post in the bottom. Check me out on Twitch. You see my lot in my feed right up there. Um, as always, stay true to yourself. 2017, looking for some big things coming on with T1G Nation. As always, stay true to yourself.